Hello, everybody, and welcome to Chase Race number two of Season 3 NASCAR Walmart Cup Series, and this is the 28th race of Season 3. Hi, I'm Levi McIntyre, a.k.a. Thrash Maniac 99 the voice of NASCAR Walmart Cup Series, here to welcome you to the Checkers vs. Career 300 at Thornton Raceway, and joining me for special guest commentary, two people you ought to know very well by now when it comes to co-commentary. Please welcome back to the booth both Charles Sanford and Dylan Young. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me here. Uh, same, yeah. Indeed. Now with Thornton, this is the famous and infamous road course track, 12 miles around the home of the turn of death. We're going to find out if anybody's going to fall off this time. But first and foremost... Be shocked. <laughs> First and foremost, the uh, chase standings coming into this race. Austin Weiner leads by three points over Ryan Anderson Jr., four points over Chris Washer, 11 points over Justin Talampas, 13 points over Michael Norman, 15 points over both Brandon Nichols and P.J. Williams, 24 over Seth Cole, 29 over David Rivera, 30 over Dylan Thoreau, 34 over Cody Lamas, 36 over Jessica Sheldon, and 41 over Cassandra Renzi. So that is how the chase standings look going into Obviously, this race. Obviously, Shelton and Renzi not only have to survive today, but they need to make sure to have really great runs. Indeed. Especially a win. win would really help them both. Indeed. And so uh, before we get into it, uh, with those chase standings being shown... Um, as of this moment, who is an early favorite to win the championship at the moment? You may want to look at Weiner. Well, Weiner's just been the most dominant man probably that comes to this series, and he just continues to show why he's going to win the championship. I say watch out for Weiner. What about you, Sanford? Well, I'd say um, since Michael Norman entered in as the number one seed, if he can make it to the finale with still a shot, I'd have to give him a have him as my favorite to win him. I'd say if I had to pick a favorite at the moment, it would be Chris Washer because he's just been arguably the most consistent driver in the history of Walmart Cup Series history because he, along with Jessica Sheldon, have been the only ones in the history of Walmart Cup Series to have made it to the chase. But Washer, he's been hungry to get a championship. He almost won it back in Season 1. Season 2, he was just hanging around in the top 5 for most of the season. Sort of same this season, but he's going to be stepping it up since he's only 4 points out of the points lead. But who will come away on top today here at Thornton? We'll find out, but first, here's a look at your starting lineup for today's race at Thornton. In the dreams of a 13 year old Looking up at the sky Wondering how the world can be so cold This kid wasn't sold It would be like this At night time Which is to be safe from this abyss Cause this shit is something That can be dismissed A boy born as a girl Who is going through distress He's got a shotgun up I can't play for the team His school won't let him Even know it's his dream Now he's sitting in bed With a loaded gun Thinking about Blowing his brains out To kingdom come Cause he's been bullied And teased all his life Almost killed himself two years ago by slitting his wrist with a knife I wonder if he sees the things I see for him Ten years down the line, speaking at the forum I kind of graduate a bet the top of his class The first trans and the bell player up in the track Well, there's a look at your starting lineup Jekko Knight on the pole with Chaser Brandon Nichols in second And here we go, boogity 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 Let's go racing, boys and girls Looks oh, like the 12 got a good run right there. That's the first time we've ever seen that yeah, before. Yeah, three wide already. 
on this ain't gonna work well there's three wide and like trying to fit into two lanes of traffic here and oh and there goes cody llamas into austin weiner oh yep the 22 is now out of the oh, track wow now let's hope weiner can get back onto the track nope it doesn't look like he's going to that is a tough break for the points leader first incident of the yeah, day comes into that be... corner Tough that's break gonna be for pretty the much an early end of his day because it's going to be difficult for him to get back onto the track. Well, actually, he can move back onto the track. It's not the left side of the track. It's on the right side. He can easily. Oh, Cody Hagen down. has damage. He got Whoa, involved the in whatever this was. And there is the 22. Jordan Cole Out running the in the back. But meanwhile, battle for the lead is raging so on between Jekko yeah, Knight and Kendall an Maynard. Yeah, this is that's in Thornton, Illinois. And I'll tell you something. This is one of the undoubtedly one of the most craziest tracks that's there. So twenty gets a good run off that corner there to get the lead. You know the this course here is so infamous because there's a lot of things they have the turn of death, the interesting turn that's coming up right here, and a bunch of the highway procedures that's there. I mean, what else can you expect into a road course that's especially the here in going through the wall there on the highway, especially the going through the wall Indeed. there, the center divider on the highway. Indeed. Well, still not, are the twenty still not back on the track? Uh, no, not no, yet. not yet. Now he's getting ready to come out, I believe. And there he is. He's now finally he off is. the wall. So now he will be able to continue, but he does have some side damage, but nothing too major. So he'll still be able to keep going, but his chances of now winning are pretty much form. over. Sorry. At least the good news is that form is. Back. Yeah, and also if drivers get crashed or fall off the turn of death, he'll be able to gain some points in order to make sure yeah, he's usually, still within reach. I think he won't have to pretty much worry about it because usually people single file don't fall off. Sorry, Dylan. No, it's all right. I think the best thing for Wonder right now is for people that are close to him in points to fall off the turn of death. That's the key thing for him. Like, especially <laughs> second and oh, third in points, oh. how close they are. Uh, yeah, look how, how close, close they're going there. back here. Right there. Right now it is Kendall Maynard. Yeah, right now it is Kendall Maynard who won back at Indianapolis earlier this season. He is your leader, Jekko Knight, with the pole setter right behind him. And then you got the highest running chaser at the moment, Brandon Nichols, right there in third with Kyle Matthews. Lurking in there. I'll tell you what, though, that 42 has not been letting go of that 20s bumper. He is stuck onto that bumper and staying committed with that right there. Indeed. Which might not be difficult when they get over to the turn of death there. Usually that's when you have problems, is when they're Oh, and the they're going to try to go three wide for the lead. <laughs> good move by the 12 right well, there. This is a turn right here at the inside. He's really got a good advantage. Well, let's see who's going to get the bigger run. And Kendall Maynard actually got the bigger run off the corner. Yeah. Somehow the high line worked. And Brandon Nichols is actually going to lose some spots. There he is right this there. Next turn yeah, up here left I think one of those that you can have problems with. Indeed. Now, this is going to be a key thing, too, before the turn F. This turn right here, these actually two turns, I should say. And, oh, oh yeah, Kyle Matthews bounces. Right -hand. Oh, and Gabe Williams gets turned, and Brandon yeah, Nichols got, got forced off the track. Oh, well. And this is where it's going to separate the field. All right, well, here we go. Here we go. Turn of death time. We're going to see if anybody's going to fall off. Radio communications are going to be good for that, uh, for the... And, oh, Talampus! Chaser Talampus oh, falls Talampus. off. Yeah. And there goes Biggie oh. Spencer. And Zachary Fitzwater hangs on. I saw a red car fall off. That was Biggie Spencer who fell off right there. All of a sudden, Rue McIntyre's wrecked. Something happened to him. He must have got caught up in that. He must have caught, got caught up in that Gabe Williams spin out that took place before the turn of death. It looks like that's it right there. Yeah, there is Talampus yeah, and Biggie little, Spencer. There would be would be the 22, but he's going to be in there single file. Well, there he is right there, just going through this super stretch right now. Yeah, but he's all by the, himself, so I don't think right he's having any problems. Thing. Yeah, I think he'll be. Turn it up. That's big. 
And plus, there are drivers that are also on pit road there, so that's a big deal for the 22. So I wouldn't be too worried if I were Weiner. Indeed. Meanwhile, Kendall Maynard did lead the first lap, and he is up at the front. He's got a pretty nice lead over Jekko Knight, and then... Oh, and there goes Alex Pedro. Teammates collide. Oh, Pedro! And I've seen an incident buildings. like that before. And this, I think when I when this happened that I witnessed it, this was in the um, the cup race, and that was the leaders at the time, Emery and that thing. And he the fell out of the... Up. He's out of it. That's, oh, whoa, what? what the... Pedro is out. Actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. Really? Yeah, he's not on I track, and he got shown out of the race. Well, I've, Actually, I've had someone go off the track circuit before, and they did the same thing. They appeared as if they were out, and then reappeared Check a couple ticker, moments later, like when they were able to get... I think he may have just disappeared. That's... That has happened maybe before. What happened I've I've seen something yeah. similar happen where like a guy got slid off or like ended up leaving the actual track surface. I had that happen to me when I was using a old Nashville track. They literally flew over the wall and just like disappeared and reappeared on pit road. Yeah, and they they still have him listed in the fourth position at the time of that incident, but they don't want to call him uh, out of the race yet. Well, not just yet, but they probably will eventually. And now, Jekko Knight finally gets around the 20, at you least for the moment, for the lead. Yeah. This, but this has been a battle between these two all race long so far, and we're not even halfway through just yet here at Thornton. Kendall and Jack, let's show. Actually, we are at the halfway point. Lap 2 of 4. <laughs> but when we cross it, that will be the first half in the books. Yeah. But you take a look at from <laughs> behind second, look at the gap between the top two and third place. That's a pretty big gap that they got. That's at least a good five, six seconds. Yeah, back there, and that's Chaser David so, yeah. Rivera. So he's having a good run at the moment. And then Cassandra Renzi, who came in. The Walmart Cup series. This is a big deal Renzi for him if he can try to get the championship. Meanwhile, Kendall and Jekko are still going at it. Here we go. Jekko looks like he's going to fall back in line. And Kendall not, Kendall's going to hang on to it. Because... But now, look at third. Third's coming back. Yeah, David Rivera, who came in ninth yes. in the points, trying to come back up here. And look at the guy who, at the girl running in fifth. Cassandra Renzi came into this race dead last in the chase. Look at her up here in the top five, and Ryan <laughs> Anderson Jr., if he can stay up oh, there, he's going to be the new points leader coming into the next race, which will be at I Spartan. I think that's for Austin Pointer to hear is Anderson Jr. to get involved in the wreck, especially the big one, or not the big one, the turn of death, I should say. <laughs> well, here we go, turn of death. Round up, two. Yep, turn of death round Still number two. Yeah. This is pretty uh, interesting. Let's see who's going to survive and who doesn't. The 20 looks like he'll be okay. Top three. Uh, most of the top half for the top ten there was single file. Yeah, pretty much. Most it looks like they all are going to get through it. Yeah, a lot of single file racing, which is a good thing. That's not going to be like drastic measures there. and Looks like we're going to be okay Definitely for now. And I guess now would be a good time to probably check in on if Pedro has made it back onto the race circuit. And indeed he has not. So. That is yeah. very interesting. But while it said Jekko Knight did lead that lap, Kendall Maynard somehow got around him and is back as the leader. <laughs> it's just been a battle among those two, the 20 and the 42. But the 20 is actually trying to pull away from the 42, and get this, third place is closing in on second. Yeah, David Rivera starting actually, to make some noise right now. Keep an eye on his turn. Yeah, we're keeping an yeah. eye out back gonna, here. Right? Oh, and I see some smoke. David Rivera wrecked. I think he wrecked oh, the 42. Oh, there's one of the chasers. David Rivera was out there, and did I see the 21? 
No, he wasn't. I think it was the 42 of Jack 09, was it? Yes, it was, but he's coming back out onto the track. He the worst of it had to be the six. That's tough thing to prepare. Well, he's That's still... double check for Jack O'Knight as well. Yeah, and David Rivera's still trying sure. to find his way to get back onto the track. As I'm not he just sure went Rivera's going to get back out there. Let's As see. he just went through a red and white striped building there. Um, oh, he scraped the... Oh, he no, almost he got it. into no. it. He missed it. Looks I, like his day's going to be but... over. Really tough spot to get back onto the track. We got to check on the 10. I don't know if uh, that 10 car is back out there yet. He's still out. Still not. Wait a minute. He's retired That's... out of the race? I believe he has. Well, let's double check, but let's go back up to the front. As it's Kendall Manor now got a big lead over new second place driver Chase That's a Oliver. Good, like two seconds at least. Hmm. Apparently they're not showing the 10 out of the race, but... I do think he is because he's not on the track or anything. No, and that's very uh, strange. And uh, I think the Walmart Cup Series officials, they're going to have to look in to see where the 10 is because I don't know where it went. <laughs> 10 literally just like went to the Bermuda Triangle here at Thornton. It had to exactly. have been. And he's still out right now. Yeah, he's not out on track. This is the angle where they show that the car would be out of the race, and there's the six of Rivera. Yeah, he's Ooh, still that, stuck out there. That, that is definitely one of the strangest that's... things I've ever seen at Thornton. Well, I remember something like this happened earlier in the season back at, ironically, at Thornton, where Zachary Fitzwater ended up disappearing from the track and ended up being out of the race. So this has happened before, and oh boy... <laughs> Battle for oh, the lead starting to get big. Anderson. Look at Ryan Anderson Jr., Matt McIntyre, Chase Oliver, Anthony McCreary are all coming into the picture. The gang's all Don't forget to add, in five and the, or to add into that picture. And I'll tell you something, Anderson Jr., that's second in the points. If he gets this win, and especially where Austin Weiner is going to finish, yeah, this is going to be big for Anderson. Yeah. Whoa, a huge hop in the air for the 51. Oh. Wow, that was like a monster truck yeah, jump. Just, to add on to that, if Anderson can go and get the win, that's a second and a first in the first two chase races. Indeed. Here we go, round but now three. round three of the round turn three of death. Of the <laughs> turn of death. Who will fall off this time? We might see somebody up on that high line get yeah, fall off, but they yeah, look to be the here, there, here we go, moment of truth. Well, there's single it's file for the top spot. Looks like they all get Benzie through it all right. Line, but able to survive. This pack is actually bunching it back up together as the white flag has been to split. Oh, there's Dutt again close there's to the split. off spot. There's Jekka Knight who's still running on the racetrack. I think everybody does manage to get through, but let's check on the six to see if he's made it out yet or not. Yes, he has. Wow. wow. He That's actually nice. has made it out. You, you I think the six found an opening. I think he finally I found an know. opening and actually managed to make it work. The white flag is out for Kendall Maynard, who has dominated this race so far. Led two out of the three laps. And he's up at the front. So let's take a look at a run-through of the top 20. It's Kendall Maynard as the leader. Second, Ryan Anderson Jr. Third is Anthony McCreary. Fourth is Matt McIntyre. Fifth, Cassandra Renzi. Sixth, Michael Norman. Solid run for him. Seventh, Chase Oliver. Eighth, Jessica Sheldon. Ninth, Eric Burden. Tenth, Trent Dunham. Hold up real quickly there, Levi. They're heading that turn. And they all made it. Uh, no one had problems this time. No one had problems. I was like a little uh-oh about it. <laughs> Eleventh, eleventh <laughs> is Chris Washer. Twelfth is Seth Cole. Thirteenth, PJ Williams. Fourteenth, Seth to use the outside line to get that twelfth spot. Yeah, Charles Jackson was last scored in the sixteenth uh, position. So, and then seventeenth is Alex Hawkins. Eighteenth, Henrietta Fitzwater. Nineteenth, Larry Hagen. Twentieth, Zachary Fitzwater. So that is how the top twenty. Currently runs in this battle for the leads getting bigger because Anderson's yeah, got. Oh, well, here comes McCurry. Still trying to go underneath. 
Yeah, McCurry, he wants to get his first Walmart Cup Series win bad. There is a road course person. He's very good on these type of yeah. tracks. I'll tell you something, he's surviving very well. If he gets the sprint, he would not surprise me. He's got a rear decklet full of the 31 behind him and the 3. So a couple of RCR teammates behind the 61 uh, Toyota Camry for Kyle Tech. He's going to have an opportunity to get inside Mainer. Got here comes McCrory underneath. Will he be able to make the move? Yes, he will. Uh, it's going to be side by side again, though, since the high line gets a little bit of a run, and he's going to Kendall's oh, going to keep mind. that lead. Wow. I thought for a moment McCrory got it, but mm. same. It's like a, off of that corner, the high line is the line to use. And in all of this, back in line. Anderson back into fit. Two, same with the three. Meanwhile, between the second position, and they were going to go two by two, but now the three is going to go back in line. Actually, he's in the middle trying to help the 61 and the 31. If I were the three, I'd be yeah. helping the teammate. And he's going to go up behind Matt McIntyre. Well, I think maybe that was more of a deflection trying to avoid getting passed by Anderson. Didn't work either for that. And McCurry, he's going to get that run. Now we're heading to this turn right here. McCurry, I would wait. Anderson peeking to the inside of McCrory. I would wait if I were the 61 to make that move for the lead. I would wait. You get a good chance coming in on the next turn, and I'd stick in line with that 20 car. You still got to get, get clear of the 31 here. And but Chase you, Oliver up in the fourth There's now. only like three or four turns left, and then there's the start-finish line. Indeed. Here we go. This is a big left-hander. McCurry's got to get a good run off this turn. And look at that. Avoid the wall underneath well let's keep an eye on the 20 he doesn't get the wall right there oh ryan anderson jr got it a little bit anderson jr got that wall a little bit unless the 61 gets a powerful run these next two turns he just might he's right there on the back bumper of the 20 he might be able to get it done but we'll see move i see that 20 is actually going higher Oh, uh, look at the run that Curry got, but I think he's. I think Kendall Maynard's going to get the win. It's going to be Maynard, but does anyone fall off? Off that final <laughs> turn, come to the checkers. The number 20 car is going to go to victory lane. And people are going to run through the train. As the 78 just went through the train. <laughs> but the 20 car will win the race. Yes, let's go up to the 20 because it is official. Kendall Maynard gets his second win of his career and of the season here at Thornton. And what a job. Dominating performance. Led every lap except for one here at Thornton. And he's going to come away with a win. Yeah, let's actually um, double check. Because I know the sixth finish. Well, actually, he's still going around the start finish line. But... What about the 10? They, is it still out He's of the race? still out of the race. <laughs> That's very, um, very interesting. Six just, just, or, sorry, the 10 just literally went into the Bermuda Triangle. And I think so. Because yeah. I think, honestly, we have to look at that again just to see what happened. Cause... Yeah, we're actually, we're, now the race is over, but the video isn't over. We are now going to take a look at all the incidents that took place throughout the course of the race, all wrecks, falls off to turn of death, etc., etc. So we're going to take a look first at the accident that happened heading into the first few corners on lap number one that took the 22 of Austin Weiner out of contention for the win. So we'll be right back. We're going to take a look at the replays of all incidents here at Thornton. Well, here's a look at what happened earlier, and looks like David Rivera is going to get into Cody Lamas, who's going to slam into Austin Weiner, and Cody Hagen was behind all this. Is that and... the... oh, okay, so that's the 11 there, okay. Yeah, yeah. The 11. From, the, from the overhead, you can't really... I can't tell the difference between the 11 and the 78. Oh, oh no. Oh, 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 the 11 hit the guardrail. That's what happened to the 11. I, I thought it was... I figure that's what happened, because I saw that buckle in the front of the hood... And it kind of really figured it was that oh, kind of thing. He, he, he couldn't get that left going there. He couldn't get the left turn going. He didn't even complete a lap, and he's going to retire out of the race. Yeah, that Wait, is unfortunate. Turns. Let's see. Yeah, the a corner. Going. Through a corner. That's it. 
Wow. The lucky break, though, is for um, Weiner. He actually didn't hit the guardrail. He was on the outside, but on the right side. Uh, of... Actually, he was in the guardrail. I mean, he was, but didn't hit it head on. But the funny thing about Weiner was that the right side of the track, you can get on. But the left side of the track, you can't get on. It's all blocked off. I mean, Weiner's going to come in on back of the track, like right... Like, you'll see it soon. <laughs> There's be... another right-hander first. Right there. There's the opening, and he just continues on. So, big break for Weiner right there. Indeed. And uh, I think uh, the next incident we got was coming into one of a few corners before the turn of death, which I believe involved um, the 33 of Gabe Williams. Yes. So, I believe that is the next incident, and we're going to take a look at that right now. Well, here's a look at the next incident that took place. This is all coming off of this corner. Kyle Matthews gets the wall, and then Brandon Nichols got in. That forces the 33 getting all wobbly. Gets up into the 12, Whoa, 12 and the 33 wow. gets turned around. And then there was another incident that took place back here. Or that could have just been smoke from uh, the 33 and the 12. The yeah, it's smoke. Actually, I just realized something. Look at the 12. Look at the 12. He's all the way out there, and uh, he it's gets invisible. that outside invisible wall. But does he manage to get back on track safely? Oh, oh he's going to come back up right there that's in front enough. of Sonny Hammond, Jesse Setti, and Rue McIntyre. That's, that's why I was expecting that. That's why the 28 was out, and why the 88 and all of them were so far behind. Wow, that, that's wild card just dive bombed into the corner. Indeed. I mean, that would have been a better job to have just actually cut it rather than doing yeah, it. And then, oh, and then here we go is the turn of death fall. Yeah, so yeah, this will transition. And yeah, Talampas and, you and know. Biggie Spencer all both fall off. Talampas was just trying to survive this turn. Obviously, Cassandra Renzi was right next to him. And then 34. Oh, man, he just lost the car right there. Simple enough. And then the 34 takes a dive. Bye. And then Boom. right in the rear end of the car. And it's better than where some cars have hit. Spencer do the same thing. Actually, he already lands on four wheels right there. Uh, I don't think he was that lucky. Well, let's see how did the 36 land. Surprisingly, only two turn of death falls this entire race. And yeah, it wasn't all like right seven, side first. Uh, like seven, eight cars fell off the turn of death that one time. Oh, and even bounces uh, off the floor. Hi, how are you? Oh, fine, I just fell off. Same yeah. here. Yeah. So, somehow we got away with only two falls off to turn a death this race. First lap one, too, to even be weirder, too. Yeah. But we gotta check out the Nexus, which is the 10, and this is the one I'm actually very interested, too, to see what Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that is the next incident that took place, so we're gonna take a look at the replay of that right now. Yeah. Well, here's a look at the bizarre incident that took place with Alex Pedro. Cassandra Renzi's getting ready to head into the turn. And keep in mind, these are teammates, too. Oh, and yeah. then it looks like Pedro gets a run. Checks, and then the 10's just going to keep sliding around. Now, keep it at the 10. We're going to have to park <laughs> camp for a reason. He goes yeah. to the building. His car manages to stop spinning. But watch, the car's just going to keep going on straight. He didn't even know where the track is at. Goes through the trees right there. Keep an eye on this. Watch this bizarre moment. There it is. Disappear. Disappeared, and, and it ended up retiring him from the race. Exists in Thornton, Illinois, and not in the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> Just didn't even come back. I, I'm very surprised. I've been doing this for nearly three years, and I've never witnessed anything like this. This is unbelievable. <laughs> and we've later on concluded that 10 car didn't even come back, but we did hear uh, Pedro is okay, though. That's a good thing. Yeah, at least he did survive it. But uh, trying to think of what the next incident was that took place. Um, uh, next, next one I thinking, remember was I'm David thinking Rivera. It was, yeah, it was the six of the Dave six. Rivera. So we'll take a look at that right now. All right, well, here's a look at the next incident, which is in the same corner as the four car and the ten car incidents. And then look at the six. He just has a big run, and he just gets into the back of the 42. Yeah, he just got enough contact to spin out the 42 and himself, and he got a whale of a run. I will admit that, but wow, that is just a very bad call for the six. But the funny thing about the six, when we were watching him during throughout this race, was that the six car missed the guardrail to get in the track, but found a way to get back on. Let's actually like fast forward and see like 
how he got on, because still, I don't know how that six star got back on. Because he misses it right there. Can't get back on. Gets on another guardrail. Now, normally when that happens at Thornton, you're basically... Oh, he oh. found that opening. Wow. Okay, Rivera wow. got very lucky, because normally when I've seen this in Thornton, especially in mine, they don't find that. And no, Rivera they usually find that, uh, found that. They find this little piece of fencing you can kind of see right there, the clear one. Although yeah. the, break, the speed comparison, it's almost like Rivera's brakes failed on him going into that corner. It has to have been. <clears throat> fortunate for the six, and that saved him, you know, big. Yeah. I believe that is all the incidents that had taken place during the race, unless there was one more, which... Yeah, let's check out Anderson Jr. in the final lap. Yeah, I forgot oh, Ryan right. Anderson yeah, he Jr. Is... on the last lap. Anderson Jr., you know, I'm very... speechless <clears throat> because he was running second, the points leader. I thought for a moment McCurry was going to win. And that turn, that turn had to the uh, turn to death. That's been a major issue, and it's just normal for Thornton. But once you see it, you know it's gonna be quite normal. And yeah, they're approaching it right now, and they they approach this turn. This turn's not the issue; it's the next turn ahead. The right. Um, uh, no, actually, he does hit the wall off this one. Yeah, it looks like right there he gets the edge of it and goes sideways, but he saved it. Good save right there, and look at Jessica Shelton. This is really going to help her a little bit there. <laughs> Three the wide with chasers right there. Yeah, and two <laughs> are the ones that are yeah. And then two more chasers right by him, and Cole and Washer right there. That is really going to help them both. They know Anderson Jr. undoubtedly will have the points lead, so they basically got around the 51 to make sure that they didn't lose a lot of points. And the funny thing was that Anderson Jr., because he was side-by-side -side with the 52 of Seth Cole, he could have easily felt, or, um, uh, Seth Gold would have turned up, and, well, that would have been bad. Yeah. Lucky break for... Oh, they got single files, what happened there. You yeah, no, never mind. No, they were double file. You see, yeah. right there, the the 51 and 52, they nearly lost it, and great job by those guys to not force the issue. Yeah. And then up ahead, there you see when the 20 is going to officially cross the start-finish line. If Kendall Maynard... As you see, the number 20 Home Depot, Toyota Camry, heading towards the start finish line, right there is your winner. And then the car glitches and shows damage on the lo on the front. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that does it for the look at the replays. Let's go ahead and take you to the official results of Thornton. All right, well, <clears throat> after taking a look at those replays, let's see the results. Kendall Maynard gets his second win of the season and of his career. And he's going to get it here at the toughest track, Thornton. Anthony McCreary gets a solid second place finish, although he tried at the end to get that win, but it just didn't work out for him. Yeah, Matt McIntyre. had another lap, I think he would have had a good chance to battle the 20. That would have been a good battle. Yeah. Matt McIntyre gets a solid third place finish. Great run for him. Chase Oliver desperately needed a good run. He comes away with fourth. And the highest finishing chaser was Michael Norman in the fifth spot. Great job for him. Eric Burton, solid sixth place finish. Cassandra Renzi, this is going to be helpful for her in the point standings. Came in 41 points out of the points lead. Comes away with a top 10. This could help her out into uh, the points lead. Uh, Jessica Sheldon, this will help herself as well. Oh, as to get some contact her. right there between the 27 and oh. 27 21. <laughs> Got a little punt right there. Indeed. And then Seth Cole, solid ninth place finish. And then the guy who I believe will be the points leader is Ryan Anderson Jr. Comes away with a 10th place finish. Yeah, and solid day for the 51. A great run for him. This is going to be well needed. And you may be right heading with him with the points, especially the points leader in trouble, Austin Weiner. This is really going to help Anderson Jr. big time. Indeed. The rest of the top 20 had Chris Washer, P.J. Williams, Trent Dunham, Charles Jackson, Larry Hagan, Henrietta Fitzwater, Alex Hawkins, Zachary Fitzwater, Dylan Young, and Jordan Culp. The rest of the top 30 was Kyle Matthews, Ian Dutta, Eric Enrage, Dylan Thoreau, Ken Thoreau, Charles Sanford, Jekko Knight, Jesse Setti, Cody Lamas, and Gabe Williams. And then the rest of the cars that finished on the lead lap 
and somehow finished the day was Nick Pericles, Jesse King, Sonny Hammond, Austin Weiner, Brandon Nichols, Rue McIntyre, David Rivera, Michael Walton. And then the rest of the cars were out of the race. Alex Pedro, Cody Hagen, Justin Talampas, and Biggie Spencer. We're hearing they fished the 10 car out of an ocean somehow. <laughs> I guess they have. Let's double check, see if he's even back on pit road. I don't think he is. And he that is. Was it. That's that's unbelievable. I I am just I'm mind blown. <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for checking out uh, Thornton, and I would like to thank uh, Dylan Young and Charles Sanford for stopping by the commentary booth. Hey, no problem. It's glad to be back in Illinois. A little bit of a hometown represent, so thank you for having me here. Oh, yeah. Feels home. Same feelings. That was, it was an awesome race. Congrats to Maynard on the win. Indeed. So the next race coming up in the chase, chase race number three, we head back to a track we raced earlier in the season, and that is Spartan, and that's going to be interesting. That was where David Rivera ended up winning. Do you think he can maybe sweep the season there? We'll find out when we go there. But until then, here are your results, rookie points, chase points, and regular points heading into Spartan. But until then, I'm Levi McIntyre signing off. Become a movie star or be a pro racer and drive fast cars. It don't matter the age, it don't matter the color, it don't matter the gender or who you love. If you got it in your heart, then go ahead and do it. If you have a gift, then please go ahead and use it. Cause I was feeling stupid, what's trying to do music? Thinking that they had no voice and that I was useless. But as I write this down, I can see what I mean. Nobody ever will stop me from achieving my dreams.